In SOLIDWORKS 2011, we have some great new enhancements to motion simulation. First is the ability to apply a motor to an object that's constrained by a path mount. So when you add a motor, we have a third option to actually add that path mount. In SOLIDWORKS, you define path mates, which are points which have to follow a profile. For example, here, the point follows the conveyor path. Now, this is a very powerful tool for things like conveyors, uh, cranes, roller coasters, etc. So, in this case, we've actually added the pathmate motors already. And what we're going to do is we're just going to go into these and we're just going to edit the feature. Now in here, what we can do is we can add a constant speed, uh, we can change the options, oscillating, etc. So all our various options are available. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're just going to play this now. And you can see that because the motor is applied to all these leaves, the barrel is actually lifted up along our actual conveyor and down the chute. Now we can take this one step further and we've applied the same functionality obviously to uh, all our barrels and as we play this you'll see uh, the resulting simulation or motion. Hopefully you can see a great enhancement to our uh, motion. Okay, the other area where we spent some time is actually on functions. When you have complex equipment, the operation of that equipment can be very difficult to move. So what we've added is the ability to add functions using segments. Now what we mean by this is how you define an operation sequence. So when you ramp something uh, to go from point A to point B, dwell at a certain position, and then ramp it back down. So what we'd like to do in this particular example is to actually move these racket owls from one position and drop it into the box. So what we can do is we can add our standard functions or we can actually uh, add custom built functions. And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna edit this function that we've got in here. And you can see uh, using the segment bo button We've got options here, so from 0 to 0.5, we move it from one point to another. And again, from 0.5 to 1, etc., we can just dwell. And then obviously, we can just ramp this down uh, and repeat the whole process. And you can see that we get some great feedback. Obviously, we've got our interpolation, so we can actually have this in a linear uh, interpolation, or we can actually slow it down with acceleration, etc. And we get some great feedback from the graphs that are actually displayed and we can toggle these on or off if required. So what we're going to do is uh, we're actually going to uh, run through this now. So we're going to play this and you can see that our towels are now being lifted up and dropped into the actual box itself. Now, to release the box, all we've got is a couple of lock mates that we've suppressed and unsuppressed uh, when required. And obviously, using our pathmate motors that we mentioned just previously, obviously, if we add this all together now, and we'll just play this. So if we just play this now, you can see that our towels are actually lifted up, dropped in the box, and then the box is actually moved along the conveyor using those pathmate motors that we mentioned before.